Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. So in the last episode, we had a fireworks festival, school started back up, all sorts of stuff happened. So uh, let's get back into the swing of things. It is nighttime, and we have yet to finish off the devil social link, so let's pick up a devil persona and go to the hospital. Or we could listen to a poem from Marie first. Funky handwriting, huh? All you clowns. Hey, you. How long are you gonna wear that ugly mask? You know you ain't got the guts for this task. Cover yourself with paint. You're acting like you ain't afraid of what you got in store for your fate. You think you got me? Well, that's too bad. Cause I ain't stupid enough to get had. So drop the pathetic act. I wanna dance and that's a fact. Now quit your gawking and start to react. Yeah, yeah. Now dance. I love that one. Yeah, yeah. Now dance. What is this? It read itself to me. I didn't read it. It was all in your voice. You could dance for me. I wouldn't mind. Sorry, again. I'm sorry every time, but it's worth it every time. Oh, it's so funny. And so... Real at the same time. Okay, let's buy ourselves... Oh, first, however, our, com our Persona deck is full, isn't it? One sec. Hold the phone. It totally is full. But Shisa is a Hierophant and Omoitane is Hierophant. So I'm just going to get rid of one of those, and now we can buy ourselves a devil without without a problem. I also kind of need to get get on the um, filling out of this compendium. I'm falling behind here. Oh, I could change display. Oh, it was right there, though. Dang it. Oh, I passed it already. Uh, sure, we can just buy Ukabok. I don't care. It's not like Lilim is a high enough level to make her worth purchasing. Alright, so with our newfound persona, let's just see what Sayoto's up to. We're not deepening just quite yet. But that's okay, we're still getting a courage bonus. We have to get we have to be close to maxing out our courage. We're getting there, slowly but surely. You appear to be doing a little bit better today. She doesn't look like she's running on empty anymore. Hopefully. I don't know, it's kinda hard to tell. Hopefully she's taking care of herself. Apparently these students have not yet grown accustomed to the fact that school is back in session. Wait, you had class over the summer? Looks can be deceiving sometimes, that's for sure. Even if you're sick of it, though, it's better to be sick of the police getting interviewed than to be sick of people getting murdered. I mean, I guess count your blessings. All right, well, it's rainy today, so there's really not that much we could do. Uh, we could go to Aya, however. I don't really have any, like, specific increase that I need now, though. Pretty much anything would work. Because, let's see here. Uh, status... 
Yeah, see, we're pretty much close to everything. If anything, a little bit of diligence would be cool, but even if I don't get it, it's not the end of the world. We'll get it eventually. Because as we start matching things out, it's going to be easier to get the rest of it. Because then I won't have to worry about, like, on free days, I won't have to make... I won't have to translate. I could make envelopes instead or whatever. That meat dimension, man. We still can't eat it. Oh, we did a due diligence. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Your beef bowl is fantastic. That was worth it. Three little bonuses. Not much else we could do that day anyway. Welcome back. Thanks. However, it's Friday, so yeah, I'm just gonna go work at the hospital again. This time we should rank up with Sayoko and we can see if she's actually doing better or if it's all just a facade. That is kind of creepy, isn't it? Oh, wait. Uh, yeah? But... Yeah, no, I'll definitely clean up right now. A little wobbly can make a big difference in a hospital. Already? This is my biggest concern, is if she overworks herself, she's gonna make a small mistake and end up hurting someone, or impede her ability to help people, at least. I'm not trying to act high and mighty, I'm just, I'm concerned about you and the patients, both. I'm glad you can come to see that on your own. <laughs> Definitely not stupid. You still have good intentions regardless. Don't mention it. She's starting to see things the way they really are. It's really good, actually. And she's doing it without us having to point it out.
I am extremely glad to hear that. I will, I will take my leave. Hopefully she is actually resting. Alright, well, we actually have sunshine today, so we could hang out with people. The question is... Actually, I was gonna say who, but we haven't hung out with Daisuke and Cohen like, forever. Uh -huh. I feel bad, I've totally been neglecting soccer practice. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Well, I mean, it's just another another day I'm skipping for me, but I can imagine it's a big deal for Daisuke. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> uh. Oh! Huh? And you didn't run it by me? I'm. Oh, I'm kind of taken. You could have at least let me know. Huh? So, Dice Day isn't taken. He could still stay. Sorry. Okay. Well, I guess that's one way to call it off. I'm not gonna say I'm not relieved, but... At the same time... Is Daisuke okay? I did it for you! I don't think I want to get in the middle of this one. What do you mean, an act? However, at this rate, there's <laughs> it's gonna turn ugly. Come on, guys. Sorry. Daisuke, Ko was just trying to be a good friend. Ko, apparently, that's not what Daisuke's into. Just, I guess, let him work at his own pace. I think, I think that's enough. I think he gets it. You got that? It's my life! You guys have nothing to do with it! Whoa! Yes, it's your life, but are we not friends? I say we certainly do. Maybe not in your love life.
sorry. Don't worry about it. There's a, there's a lot of emotions running very high here. It's not something you need to worry yourself over. Just remember that we aren't enemies. blow right there. She wasn't the one anyway, Dice Day. You should put her out of your mind. Sometimes even when you know you should put them out of your mind. It's not quite that easy. That's what makes him co, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks. And you can be pretty blunt when you want to, Ko. Knock it off. Well, hey, I can be pretty sincere when I want to be too. a lot about Dice Day today. Well, I'll do my best. Thanks, man. Don't mention it. Yeah. Learned a lot about the way Daisuke thinks. Welcome back. Thanks. And the way he approaches problems and and stuff like that. Specifically dealing with women. However, just in general as well. Uh not really. My courage isn't matched yet, so Okay, well, if I get time, I'll let her know. Tonight, uh, what should we do? Let's work. Uh, we could translate. We could try to match out our, we could try to match out our, our expression first. That was so good. Just boom. Matched. Now our expression. Now our expression is full. Let's just read it again. We're the most expressive people ever. <sighs> That's such good pay. Pity we won't have to do it anymore. No longer are we translators. That is no longer our job, nor is it necessary for us to do it. We have graduated from the University of Translation, and we have come out enthralling. Hello, this is Yukiko. 
Hey, Yukiko. Um... Sorry, but today isn't very good for me. No, 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 it's just... hard. Okay, see ya. It's the hardest thing. The hardest thing is saying no. Alright, Tanaka guy, what do you have for us? Charmed rape with heavy soup or chest key with prize stickers? Lots of prize stickers, no less. Um, I'll take the charmed rape, I think. I have really no need for chest keys. I can grow my own chest keys. Um, chest keys. By growing crack wheat. Um, and I don't need any more prize stickers. I get prize stickers all the time. Uh, we could, however, check our plants. Let's harvest these guys up. I don't even remember what I, remember what I planted. Was it tomatoes? No, it was uh, tetracorn and macaracorn. Okay. Well, speaking of crack wheat, let's plant let's plant some crack wheat. No, oh, apparently, apparently Nana goes out today because we were doing that alone. Has it ever happened? Have we ever gardened alone? I think that might be a first. Okay. Well, uh, let's run, run over the shopping district. No school today. Uh, well, Marie's available again. Sure, Marie. You're late. Well, sorry. Yeah, we're gonna go to, like, a museum or something and try to do something with your comb, right? Hurry, let's go! I hope so, but I don't know, I'm not an expert at this stuff. Well, it's hard to say. She said it was old, that's for sure. That's a good place to start. Honestly, probably not. I don't get it. Museums and galleries are just places that you go to look at things. Uh, they're works of art, but they're also antiques. Museums are more antiques, and I think that'd be more appropriate in this circumstance. Yeah, basically. Um... Art and antiques? It's... well... I don't know. Daidara could. He's more weapony though. The eye owner? I'd be surprised, but maybe. I think Old Lady Shiroku might be the best bet for starters. They don't, but she has some eclectic... eclectic tastes. Does he? I guess he does. Okay, sure. We have a pretty interesting town. That is definitely true. Let's go. I thought Daidaro was more into like weapons and stuff and armor, not combs. Well, then again, I guess he does make accessories like bangles and stuff. So, it's not that far out of the out of the realm of possibility that he can know about combs. I would buy them. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, this isn't awkward. It's not like you called me today or anything. Hi, Yukiko. Hey, Teddy. Oh. 
Apparently, because I was unavailable, Teddy was Yukiko's second choice. There's no scoop like that, but what about the two of you? Wait, really? Yeah, I didn't think so. Don't scare me like that, Teddy. Holy cow. Oh, that's nice of you. Wait. Haven't you met him before? Oh, maybe? Teddy, were you in your suit last time? Ugh, don't. Oh, no. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, half and half. Or something. Down. We're trying to figure out some stuff about Marie's comb, actually. We're doing some, you could call it research. Yeah, it's not a standard comb. This. Do you know anything at all about it, possibly? <laughs> That's okay. We weren't expecting much from you, Teddy. Well, there's only one way to find out. Or we could not do that, Teddy. Why don't you go babysit the stuff outside? Oh, okay then, never mind. <sighs> Just leave it to us, Teddy. So you know something? Um... Anything... at all? That's okay, Marie. Don't let it get you down. Okay. Are you okay? I don't think that'll be necessary. Thank you, though. Better safe than sorry, I guess.
There, now we can at least talk in peace. What is this? Nothing. I wish I could help. Sorry. Well, getting angry isn't going to make you remember anything any faster, so there's no point in it, right? Hopefully we'll find some information pretty soon. I can tell Marie's really serious about this. Okay, well, next time, maybe. Bye. See ya. Welcome back. Thank you. Awesome, thank you, Nanako. All right, so we could have made better progress with Marie's comb than we did, but any progress is some progress. So next time on Let's Play Persona 4 Golden, uh, we'll continue our school days and we still have a whole bunch of quests to turn in too, don't we? I think we do. Uh, yeah, we totally do. So we'll have to do that too. So until then, thank you guys so very much for watching this and I hope you're having a fantastic day.